love living in the city. I love living in the city. Einstein! Yeah, it's, it's so quiet and calm, you know? All right, let's do this thing. What is up, Pouch Boys and Girls from all around the world? It is your cyberspace hero, Zero, with another episode of this Pouch Dump feature. Patch me outside, outside again. So how about that? I am still feeling the fall aesthetic, even though Halloween is over. I am still rocking the garage built gear, Mighty Pouch Plus in that woodland camo. Combat beads, Moab in carbon fiber, some fantastic Phantom by Workerman. I'm gonna flip over here. Got some new, we got some old. From that German place that I can't pronounce, we got the Grail Knife, because we got another one in this pouch today. Uh, still rocking that Workerman Fantastic Phantom Pumpkin. I don't care that it's after Halloween. Spooky season is still here. Um, Spirit of Systems All Seeing Eye. The new Kokui Creations Gundam. Uh, that's Heavy Arms. We've got the Spooky Eyeball from Loose Nut EDC the brown coke tools can andrew the edc booze tombstone re club exclusive pete's pirate life in green another coke we creations this is the woo donut and a new addition from pop edc this is dragon ball z can i got five percent of these dragon balls now so you better watch out you don't know what i'm gonna wish for from shenron let's take a peek inside the pouch see what kind of stuff i got in here for yens today start with the light today. This is the Ray Light Pineapple Mini in copper with a forced patina with some liver of sulfur. Just dump that dude in there. This is a sweet tail switch light, three modes of operation, super deep carry clip. As usual, got my three swords nail clippers. Don't put your nails. My big eye design mini pen in brass. It's always good to have your own pen. The Thumbs One Self-Loathing Series Ducks. Ragnarok EDC's Silly Skeletor. The Dreadnought from Vice Anvil Tactical. Here's something a little different. This is the Dreadnought Multi-Tool from Vice Anvil Tactical. This is uh, a little bit fidgety. It's a pry bar, bottle opener, there's like a hex bit spot in it. Potentially you could use it for def I guess, maybe, I don't know. Uh, window breaker perhaps, scraper tool, flathead screwdriver. Just a cool little piece. Mix it up, pouch dump. Here's a new one you've never seen before. This little prick is a pocket cactus made by Darth Nader, carved from dank blanks. Comboed up with a little glow nut bead from Beans EDC. Next, I know you guys wanna see the knife. Let's see the knife zero. Anybody who's been watching my channel long enough should recognize this. The Fox Knives Baby Core and Natural Linen Micarta. The Combat Beads Full Size Micarta. And a Lynch Northwest Deep Carry Clip with a bronze anno to match that brass backspacer. And that amazing Fox Knives Natural Linen Micarta Scale. Flipper tab on one side, spidey hole on the back, it's a liner lock, it's got nice action, smooth, super, super good knife. It doesn't matter if you're a fan of the flipper tab or if you're a spidey hole user, this knife's got you covered. It's got amazing air goes, it's got a good price, um, M390 steel, uh, sweet acid wash effect on the blade, really slicey belly on that. My only complaint is that this was a limited edition knife and they're not available anymore and I wish more people could get this amazing baby core in their hands. Yo, Fox Knives, people want Micarta baby cores. Make more, make more, give the people what they want. We love this knife. The people who have them in their hands talk about how amazing they are. So please, help everybody else out and give them one. On the back side over here, we've got a couple things hidden. I am a member of The Breakfast Club. So I've got The Breakfast Club EDC Green Egg Coin. You need yourself a worry coin, 
These are pretty awesome. Cool little conversation starters. Um, all for a good cause. Brody does a great job in his Facebook group. I'll link it down below. You should join if you're not a member already. Also got some humorous band-aids. First blood. Mission unlocked. And hidden way down here at the bottom of the pouch. This is a little interesting one. This is basically a flexible key ring with a little bit of knurling right here to give you some grip. A little knurled piece of metal right here that can go across this flexi shaft. And on either side, there's a little bit of threading on there. Pull this over the top, make a circle, line the threads up, and give it a couple twists. See right there, that makes a nice little flexible key ring. This is one of those things where there's a million and one uses for something like this. If you needed to like attach something to a chain link fence, I'm not gonna get into examples, but you never know when you're gonna need something like this. And it's just like so small and tiny, it just slips right into your bag. You forget it's there until you need it. Better to be aware than caught unprepared, right? That's pretty much it. In the back pocket, I got the Hank game. We are rocking some damn Hanks, silly skeleton Hank today. Microfiber on the back, glow in the dark, fun Halloween spooky stuff. That's it for the Pouched Up episode today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for giving me your time and checking out my gear and my patches for today. If you like this video, please press the like button. If you're not already subscribed, do so. It really helps me out algorithmically with these YouTube reviews. So please do so if you enjoyed this. Thank you so much again. I'll see you on the next one. Later. Cheers.